embattled Kirinyaga governor Anne Waiguru was yet again summoned to the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission Nairobi offices for questioning over alleged misappropriation of public funds to the tune of 58, 52.8 million shillings. Waiguru, however, blamed unnamed political detractors for using the anti-graft body to intimidate her due to her latest political stand on the 2022 State House succession race. Francis Kashuri reports. The Kirinyaga governor yet again walked in and out of the revolving door at Integrity Center following summons by the anti-corruption body ESCC. Solidarity. She had been called in over a questionable allocation of 52.8 million shillings to settle a pending bill approved by the county assembly and her cabinet. This um, pending bill was uh, for the issuance of titles for South Gariama. And um, what they are alleging is that uh, we should not have deliberated on the matter of the issuance of the titles in cabinet. The governor insisting the summons were crafted to intimidate and blackmail her into submission after seemingly taking a different political direction in the 2022 State House Succession Game Plan. This is just an issue of harassment. It is um, intimidation. It is uh, political. And um, they wanted this picture of uh, you people here and me here because of politics. The same people who are behind my impeachment. It's because I, I hinted that I am reconsidering my position and um, it's very unfortunate. She has been a defender of the March 2018 handshake between President Uhuru Kenyatta and ODM leader Raila Odinga and a fierce critic of Deputy President William Ruto. She attributes her woes to the latest position that the Jubilee Party had lost support in the mountain and she was consulting Kirinyaga voters on the political path to take. I said the situation on the ground is, is pretty different and difficult and I am in the process of consulting and listening to the people of Kirinyaga. So I, at this point in time I think it will be premature to say exactly where I'm going. Let me continue listening, let's continue talking to other people, other leaders and then we will uh, decide on our political move. The conspicuous presence of Lugari lawmaker Ayub Savula We are quoting Anwar Guru as ANC. I'm here as a deputy party leader. And other Amani National Congress officials at Integrity Center raising attention. We are quoting her. That's why we are here. You have to quote a girl. Pole, 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 pole. That's why you are standing in solidarity with her as ANC. Don't tell us if you are Ruto. <laughs> Some political pundits have linked Waigoro with a likely shift to Ruto's UDA. However, on 25th of May this year, she met ANC leader Musalia Mudavadi at his Lovington offices, her political destination a guarded secret. Elections are, are 11 months away. We have political deadlines, and those political deadlines require that by certain times you should have announced your seat, by certain times you should have announced your party, and so in good time. In good time, we are consulting very widely and listening to the people of Kirinyaga and listening to the people of Mount Kenya. Na tutaenda mwelekeo ya ile watu wa Mount Kenya watatue ambia. A source at ESCC told Citizen TV that the commission has recommended prosecution of Waigoro over a 10.63 million shillings impressed allegedly collected for a foreign trip that never materialized. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.